top headlines for the day. Salman Khan was sent a legal letter by a rape victim who was raped by 10 men in Hisar district in Haryana. Yes, for all those who have been fans of Salman Khan, his comment on feeling like a rape woman during the shoot of Sultan surely was a shock. Bhai was asked about his upcoming movie Sultan and he said he used to feel so tired that he felt like a rape woman. The woman in question who has sent a legal notice says the star does not realize the implication of a scaleless statement and has said she would sue him for 10 crores for speaking so nonchalantly about a condition that only people like her know what is it about. Truly to Salman's benefit, he would have best avoided such comments, repeat, such comments which have completely damaged his image and also cost him the ambassador position to Rio Olympics. Well, Priyanka has finally opened her mouth about the rape comment from Salman. Yes, didn't we tell you that Salman Khan recently said that he felt like a rape woman after the Sultan shoot? Well, that has really hurt a lot of people and Salman has been the focus of conversation. In the recent IFA Awards at Spain, Salman was also part of the team that was there for the press conference. Here Priyanka was asked about Salman's rape woman comment to which Peggy Jobs candidly gave her view. She said that more than focusing on who said what, it's better to focus on more important issues. Peggy Chops recently back from the US has seen success in the best way possible. Also she has always shown that she can have her way when it comes to spunk, attitude and style. Way to go girl. And also she has shown what it is to be a star in the making, isn't it? Post IFA Awards lovebirds Ranveer and Deepika spent some quality time in Spain. Now doesn't that put all the so-called rumors about their breakup to rest? Bajira and Mastani have been away from each other from quite some time now and were submerged into their respective projects. Many tongues started wagging while Ranveer got vocal about Deepika in his acceptance speech, but wasn't it really sweet of him? One knows Ranveer was busy with Dave Fikre in Paris while Dippy was held up at Toronto with a Hollywood stint. Now that both had come together in Spain for the award function, many stars of the B-Town returned after the IFA awards. But what got attention was these lovebirds haven't returned to their nest. Yes, one year they both have extended their holidays in Spain to spend some quality time with one another. Do you still need any kind of confirmation regarding the rift between the two? We are sure not. Ashwarya Rai Bachchan says no to film with Imran Hashmi. Yes, apparently Milan Lutri had approached Bachchan Bahu for his next upcoming movie along with Ajay Devgid. Ash's character was based on Maharani Gayatri Devi, but when she heard she would share some scenes with the serial kiss of Bollywood Imran Hashmi, she blatantly turned it down. Now here's a twist. You know what? It seems Imran had said a plastic beauty to Ash while on the coffee couch on the famous K Joe's talk show. This guy probably didn't go down well with the cat beauty and so she turned down the offer too. Looks like Ash doesn't forget a few things which has hurt her big time. Imagine this particular incident happened 2 years back but Ash has still kept it in her mind. Looks like Ash is in no mood to settle some scores, isn't it? <laughs>